Hey everybody. Hey, I'm glad you're back and I'm keeping you in prayer and I hope you keep me in prayer concerning this uh, coronavirus. Uh, it is really causing some problems, uh, especially in Italy. It's getting hit hard. A lot of people uh, have died from this uh, virus and, and then our country, we, we already had a good number of people and hundreds have died. And, and, and there's more people being affected. We even this Sunday, we, we even got, finally now, we got a congressman that been hit by the virus. We got the, uh, some senators that have been hit by the virus. Uh, it, it doesn't care what party you belong to. Uh, it, it doesn't care at all. It's a pestilence. And I think we're, we're, we're on track to try to do the best thing we can as far as limiting the, our ability to go out and, and, and to the public by staying home as much as you can, stay home. I know you gotta get your groceries, you gotta get your gas. You may not get a lot of gas, but you shouldn't be going too many places. But there, there's uh, some limitations that you do, uh, that you have to go out and, and uh, get get uh, food. And if it gets real bad, you can't even go out and get some food. But the uh, let's keep, us, keep everybody in prayer concerning this because it's affecting whether you're a believer or not a believer. Uh, and, God wants you to stay in the secret place. You know, Psalms 91, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High. Well, I'll tell you what, one of the secret places God wants you to do is you stay in under his cover, but stay at your home, all right? Stay home. And then you 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 can stay, You your secret place is in the home with Jesus, amen? Go out go out on the if you have to. Uh, this Sunday, 22nd of uh, March, this is our second time where we did the uh, uh, Bible study uh, by virtual, meaning everybody's in their different homes, and and we're using our video conference to to uh, to fellowship. Uh, I had two sessions today. The the, the first session, uh, as was dealing with uh, knowing Him, meaning letting Him uh, be your judge and king, and let nobody else be your judge and king, and. The, I had a chance to put that video together, but after the session, one of the brothers called in and uh, we sat as Myron uh, Addison. He uh, sat, we decided sat to do a little fellowship called an after hour fellowship uh, to go over those uh, scriptures and some of the scriptures that we didn't do in the first session, we did in the second session. Uh, focusing on the fact is, man, let God be God. Go out there, live your life, and, and, and fellowship, I don't care what is it a party, I don't care what is it a barbecue, I don't care if it's at the club. Go out and fellowship and minister the gospel. Let people know it's not a restraint we're trying to put you in. It's not, we're not trying to take, your, take away your liberty. We're trying to let you understand that there's a grace and mercy in God. And we're trying to say, come to him as you are, because we all got some jacked up stuff. We had some jacked up stuff in the past, and, and even do you got a mature saint, there's some jacked up things you got to work on. But the main thing is, mature saints, don't put restraints on a babe in Christ. Let that person grow. huh? Let them, let them get to know Jesus, and let them understand he wants them to come as they are, and let them know that once they get to know him. That's what we're trying to get to, everybody, to include yourself. That, that you want Christ, you want to get to know Him, have a personal relationship with Him, so that when you go wherever you go, you're fellowshipping with Him and anybody you fellowship or witnessing to. It is the Holy Spirit that does the witnessing. Jesus went to that, that the party with Levi and, and, the, and the scribes and the Pharisees. said, why is He sitting there with publicans and sinners? And Jesus said, he that is whole does not need a physician, but he that is sick. When you're going out and fellowship with people, we ain't ask you to sit there and be, let them teach you to be wrong. We ask you to show them how to do it right. They can go any social gathering they want to go to, but let's not go there to, to get over on somebody 
can use somebody. Let's go over there to fellowship. Act right. Don't act like a fool. Don't go somewhere and get drunk and then drive home like you're crazy. Don't go to somebody's house that you don't do most be in somebody's house. Don't do things that you can't afford. I said one time before, Jesse Planter said, Santa take you further than you want to go, keep you longer than you want to stay, and guarantee and charge you more than what you want to pay. Most of us can't afford it. So let's not, okay? And now with this virus, that lawyer, we can't afford to keep going out into uh, the community. And because and, you watch out, man, you catch that virus and then you'll bring that home. All right? So, bottom line, this is session two on the 20th, what is it, 22nd of March, uh, getting into the Word of God. And I just want you to encourage you to just to, to, to listen to it. This is with Brother Addison, so it's a two on two. We might do some more sessions where it's a midway, midway section where we can go ahead and get into the Word of God because uh, it's not a bad thing, this video conference and stuff. And I encourage you to dial in. And you dial in by downloading the life-size app application that you see on the slide. Just, just use that. You can't physically dial in by, with, with a number. You download the app. And then when you download the app, you can use our conference number, which is 727-8883. And you can come on video just like the rest of them. We can fellowship and get into the Word. I encourage you to do so. So anyway, this is uh, the second session. And this is part A, because believe it or not, it was still another hour uh, with Brother Addison. But it was a blessing. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on part B. And then you got to see session one. Amen? Hey, you know about the word, amen? All right. You stay at home anyway. You can sit there and take time and listen to the videos. God bless you. See you later. Bye-bye. I want to, I want to, look, let, let's wrap, let's do a little quick fellowship real quick. Look. Okay. We we was talking, and, and I know you're going to be in agreement with it, or maybe you're not, but what I did yesterday, and we talked about it today, was that as a, as a believer, sometimes it's not just the religious or the traditional church people that put you down if you're drinking a beer or wine or whatever, but or going to the club, or fellowship into a party, or barbecue, or whatever, uh, or dancing. There, there's another group called the Rejection and Non-Believers that also try to put you down okay. if you try to hang with them. You know, it's like, hey man, what you got that beer in your hands for, right? Or, or, uh, or why you dance? How you you don't supposed to be dancing? You, I don't know where they try to put you in the same box. Yeah, but that's to me that's a doorway to ministering the gospel. To me, right? As far as you going in and fellowshipping with them and doing that, right? When they try and 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 put constraints on you, right? Then that's a doorway to share the gospel. No, not 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 under the gospel of Jesus Christ. Not this dispensation. Let me let me Come explain on, a few things. You know, and then go into that. You know, I'm free. I'm free from all condemnation. There is no condemnation to those who are in Christ. You know, Woo. there's nothing about fear that's going to send me to hell. There's nothing about me out there dancing that's going to send Come me on. to hell. The only thing that's going to send me to hell and you is tonight uh -huh. to deny Christ as your Lord and Savior. So hopefully you have accepted him as your Lord and Savior. But it's right. seems like you know the law, so Come on. you're 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 constrained by the law, and rightfully so. If you're not, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ, then yes, this law is for you. <laughs> Man, you did you know, it. That is, yeah, you are perfect. Oh. That's exactly what we're talking about. We said the fact that people that try to put you in the box, and I said in my video uh, yesterday was they put you in the box to justify why they're not in the box. Yeah, yeah. Now, if this brother is actually saved, you know, I don't think he would, and, and that's how he believed, I don't think I would run into anybody like that in a club. <laughs> right. 
You know what I'm right. saying? If I was uh -huh. in a club, I don't expect to see somebody who's going to tell me, you know, why are you drinking? Why are you in this club? No, you know. I find out. I find out. I'm trying to say I've seen where, uh, where, uh, where it's not this. The person is supposed to be saved. No, it's, but it's, I, it's, I understand. I understand what you're saying. That it's yeah. the unsaved people that that know more about the law than most uh -huh. saved folks. Exactly. But the problem is they they are under the law, and we're not. That, exactly. That's where it's which is which made so much sense you know the church was always talking about they're trying to take uh the ten commandments out of these public areas and all that stuff and i was like yeah they are because they apply yeah. to them why wouldn't they <laughs> come on no, I said, they, they don't apply to us <laughs> so so that's that that right there is just tearing them up every time they read all 10 of them they fall in there somewhere yeah, so they're being condemned by them. So naturally, yeah, the world wants to remove that out of public right. air. Actually, so yeah, understand the law. You can, you can ask probably any. I believe you can ask an atheist, and he can tell uh, you some, some laws of Moses. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? because they are subject to them. To them, all of them. What is it? Three hundred and, and what? How many? What are you talking about? Oh, those, oh, all, those, oh all those other sub laws, right? But they can't even keep up with the ten laws. What I'm saying. So, but the Bible talks about if you can't keep up with one, you know, if you miss one, that's you it. Break all of them. Exactly. You know, so, so that that you know that is what it is. And uh, if they come on to me, they they basically they just open the door that they really don't want to go in. <laughs> You're perfect because one of the things we said is you know that one one of the scripture we used, man, was the uh, let me show you something real quick. Uh, we was showing uh, where John the Baptist was. Uh, Jesus said that John came neither eating nor drinking, right? And, and and yet you call him that he had a devil. Uh, did you ever see that? Remember that scripture? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And then Jesus said, "I come drinking." <laughs> <laughs> and so, you call me a wild bibble and a glutton. And, a, and a, yeah. uh, what was the other one? Uh, uh, I can't remember. A bibble. He said yeah. a, a glutton. Yeah. He said, yeah, he called him a glutton. And you called me a wide bibber and a glutton. So yeah. he's like, it don't matter with, with this world and the way they think, they're going to find something wrong. Man, and that's a trip. And that's what we were talking about today is about how the religious people, as well as, to me, of the world, try to put people in a box so that, that, that no matter what you do, you ain't going to look right. Well, and what's so awesome is what you're talking about is one of the messages that I listened to from uh, Andrew Farley. I, I'm, I'm going to see if I can forward it to you. It's going to bless your socks off. Uh -huh. uh, he, was, he was talking about how, um, let me see, how, how we under grace, you know, how Paul said, I can be all things so that yeah. I may you know, share the gospel. And right. his, his freedom makes him so unrestrained so that even if people try to put him in a box, right. yeah. he can be in that box because he's free. He's, that's the point. And minister yeah. to them in that freedom. Yeah. And those who are free, he can experience that. And, and uh, the other thing is talking about... Uh, so if, you know, like eating meat that was sacrificed to idol, he said, you can go to the, you can go to the butcher uh -huh. and they could have sac sacrificed all that meat to idols. He said, but yeah. you're, you're, you're so free in God, in, in Christ, you can buy all that you want because you know there's only one God. Come on, brother. Come on. All that sacrifice didn't mean nothing. That's just meat to And he said, but if you go to somebody and you go to their house, and then that person is like, 
come on in, you know, I made this meal from this meat that sacrificed to idols, then that person is under a constraint. Yeah. So to win his soul, you may not want to eat. Uh huh. Uh -huh. That, that has been sacrificed. So it was just so it was so eye opening how he right. was talking about this because he also hit hit home on me because he said, you know, we get so caught up us who are free get so caught right. up in our freedom that we can't even sit down in a church and hear a message because we. Oh. You know, just slicing that, that message up. It's like every word. We trying to change it. You know, we trying to cut it up. It's like, uh -huh. no, that ain't for me. That ain't right and all this. He said, but we ought to be secure yes, that sir. we can hear what they got to say. And if led to, go to that brother and minister to him, you know, and, and, and talk to him about to the him. difference. Yes. So you should be able to sit and listen to it. And see, and for me, in my mind, I was like, I ain't got no time to be hearing no <laughs> And you know, if I want to yeah, hear, right. if, if I'm going to spend my time in, 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 uh, in going to a so-called church, you know, because right. we are the church, you know, we are the church, but going to a, a, a local body, if Come I'm going to go there, I want to hear the gospel. Come I on. want everything to line up and point to Jesus Christ, and if it don't, it's pretty much wasting my time right. because I need to know who I am and who you are. Come on, bro. Come on. In Christ, <laughs> I need action on who I am because <laughs> you can't add not one iota soul. Not nah. spirit. That's the whole point. Life. All you can do right. is show me who I am. Come That's on it. now. You trying right. to tell me I got seven steps to to righteousness? I'm getting up and I'm leaving <laughs> because I'm already righteous. Y'all, y'all may need that. <laughs> you might need it. Right. But we know. You know Come saying? on, bro. Yeah. If the, here's these these four steps to holiness. I'm already on. holy. Yes, you sir. Know? So so for me to sit up under something like that is it, it's a waste of my time. And I'm not even going to be paying attention anyway. But I, I do know, know that uh, it takes that for some people to get to the next level. And I do understand yeah. that because it, it that's what I had to go through. All right. that I experienced in my life got me to where I am today. Amen. And that's what it's all about. But I also want the people to say it's a liberty, like you said, that freedom. They 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 thinking that they can't be a Christian because they don't have freedom. And they understand you have freedom. It's not freedom to hurt people, but the freedom to enjoy your life, the leisure you wanted to be. If you want to sit like I like the time you're sitting at the uh at the patio and you uh -huh. you had coffee and stuff, but it's just to be able to say, Hey, I wanna if I wanna sit out there and have my uh, uh hot dog and beer and wine or whatever that's what i want to do yeah i ain't hurt nobody right yeah and and and, and i'm some of those people don't come to church because they feel they can't do those things and that's the thing you know a lot of people you know and, and god forbid and it breaks my heart you know you get these people they're coming in because you know, they don't reach rock bottom. They ain't got nowhere right. else, you know, or or, yeah. or there's a hurt that they need they need answers for. You know, they lost they lost a, a loved one. I mean it could be any myriad of things. You know, they strung right. out don't they tired. They just looking for the answer. And we always say, You done tried everything else, try Jesus. And so they finally go and try Jesus. They get all this love coming in the door. And then all these rules you know, come right behind. They, all of a sudden, all these constraints of what you can and what you have, where you can and where you cannot go, who you can and who you cannot be, and they trying yeah. to do the work of the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is like, hold up, you know, that, what's that, up? Who y'all putting these rules on me for? Right? So, and we run them away. 
So the thing is, until they show them who they are in Christ, they ain't going to never move forward. No, you know? they won't. You get these if, people if, who, if, who genuinely accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, and then they're stuck. I remember, right. uh, uh, what was that show? Uh, Interview with a Vampire. You ever watch that? Yeah, that was with Tom Cruise, wasn't it? Tom Cruise. And he turned that little girl. Yeah. So she was forever that age. And she despised her life. Uh -huh. Because she was stuck yeah. in that body with all that knowledge, but she could not grow and be an adult. Deep. That is most Christians. Wow. You saved. And they're stuck in that immature body and they're getting all this knowledge, but they can't grow because they don't know who they are in Christ Jesus. Right. Right. It would be, oh yeah, my fact, if, were you when we did the uh, John chapter three, were you there when we did John chapter three? And would, you remember that one where we said it'd be Roth and God? No, I wasn't there. Yeah. I don't, let, I don't let really you got your Bible with you? I always got my Bible because I got my phone. <laughs> uh, yeah, check out the, uh, I'm trying to figure out what's wrong my computer here. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's going on here? My camera ain't working for some reason. I got you, but I'm setting my other camera for some reason. I'm trying to figure out why it ain't come on. But anyway, the uh, look at that for me. And I'll tell you what I'm looking at when you get a chance. Are you talking about Nicodemus? This is, no, John chapter 3, right? I want you in verse 18 to 21. Okay, 18. That believeth on him is not condemned. But uh -huh. he that believeth not is condemned already. Because right. he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this well, is the condemnation that light is come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil for everyone that does evil hates the light neither comes to the light lest his deeds should be reproved but he yes, that does truth comes to the light that his deeds may be made manifest that they are worked in god man that's yeah. awesome and see the thing about it you know what roth means did we tell you about that uh, I, I, I don't, I don't read this, but, uh, explain that to me. I have an idea. You read it? And look, check out that, because that's what I like about that one. It says, Roth and God means to be shaped, to be, God is the one that does, you know, they say you can Roth iron, you can, yeah. you can mold it, you can shape it, you can sculpture it. It's, it's, it's God that does the shaping. Yes. And, and so, so it's saying is for a, a person to come to the truth, come as you are, because it's him. Yeah. That's he's, the, the he's the potter, and we're the clay. He is the potter. Come on, brother. That's what God is trying to tell us, is that we, we, don't, we get all deep because we are trying to put these rules, these ordinances and everything on people because we're trying to shape them and what we perceive as the image of a good yeah. Christian. And and that's where the box comes in at, that yeah. Chris was talking about. They try to put you in a box. In the most cases, people don't come to the church because they're not ready to be in the box. Amen. You know, I, I, go ahead. I to, uh, to notice a lot of these this, uh, the constraints uh -huh. are based on the person's weakness. <laughs> Given yes, the, he needs yeah. those constraints. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. They need them for themselves. And they try yeah. to impose them on other people, which is these, these denominations are formed in that fashion. Yeah, yeah. Those, they come up with a method that, that work for them, and then they say, this is... They try to make it a cookie cutter. So, yeah. okay, now everybody goes by this method. 
and you'll be squared away. We even said last week was talking about that's where the uh, Islam came with putting the, the dressing the ladies up. Yeah. You would say, okay, so that way if you don't have this, you can't lust after this woman <laughs> if we cover the lady up. And then then look at uh uh Muhammad. He he how many how many women did he have had children oh, from? Right. After, you know, and then get called out by Malcolm and then they they gonna just kick him all out of the, the whole thing. Hey, talking about young, don't forget it. Don't forget some of them were young children. Some of them were minors. Teenagers. Yeah. That, I mean, so just putting them, putting them, them clothes on them ain't going to stop what's in your heart. It ain't going to stop what's going to That is God. God's the yeah. only exactly. reshape, refolder. He, he, if there's a thing <laughs> on this earth, a human, the only thing that's going to re, re change, replace it, change it, is God. It's God Almighty. But that, those wow. are the type of things I'm saying is people try to impose on the the uh, believer or non-believer is thinking they got to be Mr. Goody Good Shoes and <laughs> and it ain't about being a Miss uh, Goody Good Shoes. It's all about just believing and then to me, once again, that scripture I was talking about John is we just want somebody to come to the light and let God do the shaping. Let yeah, God do the most. That's it. And if it's we, if we get out of the way. God, that, that's it. The bottom line, just believe in who God says you are. Right. Believe in what God says you are and, and, and what God says you can do. And Come so on, ain't got nothing to do with your ability, with nope. your strength, with your weakness. Nope just a belief so everybody now you talking about everybody. you talking about equal opportunity <laughs> the was, ultimate yeah. opportunity right there that anybody is capable of believing don't matter your age doesn't your matter your weight your size your color yep. your, your strength none of that nope just My really fact, what I believe I had a friend of mine yesterday. I was talking to him. He was talking, you know, about the Egyptian thing, right? He he was he was upset, not upset, but he's saying is the reason he doesn't reject Christian, he doesn't accept Christianity because he feels that the Egyptians of old created all the religions of today. That all the stuff spent off of Egyptians. Uh -huh. and, then, and then I said, check it out. This is a piece you want to catch into it. So then he said is, so I said, well, well, let's study them and see what they believe in. Let's hear their message. And he, he gave me a, a, a video screen and he got sent me before of the laws that they believe in. Because they did believe in an afterlife, right? Uh -huh. And they, the, the person was doing the video said is that you have to follow every morning. You have to sit there and recite the 42 laws <laughs> that you're supposed to <laughs> accomplish uh -huh. daily. At the end of the day, you're supposed to say which laws that you failed to do and ask for forgiveness. And then when you eventually die, you're going to be way to get into what they call heaven. You're going to be weighed on a scale, and the scale is going to be your heart versus a feather. And if the feather is is heavier, is what do you call it, lighter than your heart, then you've been out of balance, and you can't get in. Uh -huh. And on top of that, if you if you fail the scale, then you got to be judged by I think they have like twelve. By a jury anyway. And 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 if, if they don't judge you worthy, you can't get in. And I told him, I said, Well, brother, I don't know about you, but I can tell you I can't even fulfill ten laws, let alone <laughs> you know, let alone forty two laws. 
<laughs> but if you if you can uh if you feel you can do that, uh, you go ahead. I I want to encourage you to see if you can do forty two yeah. laws one day a day. <laughs> no, just do it for one day. Just for, do all forty two. Hey, because I know. One day. Let me tell you something, Pastor. This is my testimony. <laughs> At one point, I was in Okinawa. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> and I am not going to sin today. Okay, you said that. You Dude, said I'm that. A, I'm not going to sin. Okay. I am going to get through this day uh -huh. without committing a sin. That okay. includes driving the speed limit, you know, not saying anything out of order, or all Woo. this. I'm still trying, bro. <laughs> <laughs>